Okay, it's been a long day and I'm a little bit tired, so essentially I might not make like a million billion billion pieces of like sense today. I don't know. I'm just going to talk so you can like listen and then think about what I'm saying and maybe you can start to like um, incorporate that into your understanding of the world and that sort of thing, which is like the kind of thing I typically do when I'm making videos and stuff. My point of view, okay, so you can take it, you can leave it, you can do your own research. Today I'm talking about the gamma wave frequency, and this one is cool. As is traditional, I'm going to leave a link to the Wikipedia uh, entry on the gamma wave frequency if I can find it. I haven't looked for it yet, so either way, you can read it, because I would rather not just um, do a video in which I'm just like reiterating stuff which is on Wikipedia. What I'm going to do is tell you about like stuff which I've uh, found out about recently, and also my personal experiences with gamma waves using brainwave entrainment technology such as mind machines and binaural beat generators. Okay, firstly, what is the gamma wave frequency? It's faster than 30 cycles per second. It's a brainwave frequency. And so it is like electrical activity happening inside your brain at a certain frequency. Okay, what does it feel like? Uh, when I'm using a mind machine and I'm slowly increasing the frequency, I'm like using like a, you know, a binaural beat generator, and I'm slowly increasing the frequency, it feels like a, a gentle, tranquil, passive state of euphoria. And it can sometimes feel a little frightening because it's so, you know, wonderful. It's, it's, it's very nice, okay? And it's associated with the early stages of the astral projection type experience. Whether you believe in astral projection or not, I don't care, but there's an experience and you get that brainwave frequency at the start of it. Okay, and that's like the feeling of floating and flying and going upwards, you know. It's kind of like slightly dissociated from physical sensations because like when, when we're like, you know, in our physical bodies and we're touching the ground, we feel grounded. Why do we feel grounded? Because like we're touching the ground, we feel it, we, se we sense it and so on and so forth. OK, when it, when we're in this like visualized world in which we are disassociated from physical sensations and we are believing we are floating, um, it feels slightly scary and weird because it's a scary, weird experience. And so it's kind of like associated with like that kind of feeling. And so it, 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 it makes sense. Sense, okay, so you can in initiate it with the help of a mind machine, which is oscillating at in excess of 30 cycles per second. What I have just found out about as a result of the BBC Horizon program on the subject of creativity is that when someone is having a moment of creative insight, a few things happen in the brain. Okay, the um, the visual cortex in the brain temporarily shuts down to reduce the quantity of like. Um, information which the brain has to deal with and then on the right hand side of the brain so that, so that the uh, visual cortex goes into alpha rhythms shuts it down you know it's it's not working as much then on the right hand side of the brain you get a gamma spike okay so that gets quieter that gets busier and then you have your flash of inspiration and it communicates to the other sides of the brain and so on and so forth the other thing that uh, happens during these moments is that the uh, frontal lobes, which is all like your reasoning and your, you know, logical, rational thought, that kind of like goes down a bit. And there are people who are uh, hypo frontal cortex, I think was the phrase, which means that there is generally less activity within the frontal cortex, um, you know, holding back the creative impulses uh, within creative people. So they've got less going on here, but they've got more going on um, there and there okay and the visual cortex is you know during those moments is kind of like temporarily shut down so they can look inwardly so i just thought i'd bring that to you that the gamma wave frequency is is connected to uh creative problem solving creative thinking and it's on the right hand side of the brain so essentially if you were to feed let's say um a gamma wave frequency into your left eye that might help to stimulate um, some of the creative frequencies. Obviously, do not use mind machines, binaural beats, strobe light machines, and the rest of it if you suffer from epilepsy or other forms of seizure complaints. But if you don't have those problems, um, you know, and you don't think it'll damage you because you've got a heart condition, then give it a go because it might be fun for you. Just a few points for today. Okay, chill out, relax, have fun, and explore the power of the gamma wave.